like to call meeting to order December 20th. My name Township Trustees. I guess we are the Board of Trustees. Um, well, we are expecting Trustee Crockett, uh, who's not here yet. Uh, and we have soon to be Trustee Marilyn Moyer, and we have Jennifer Adam. Uh, I'll entertain a motion. Trustee elect. Or, uh, yes, trustee elect. Uh, entertain a motion for adoption of minutes from December 6th. So moved. I'll second. A couple little things. Yes. Jennifer, Citizens for Green. Acres. Acres. Oh, yeah, I, I, I purposely left that blank because I was like, I don't remember she said. And then adoption of minutes seconded by not the. Why did the spell check cash that stuff? I don't know. Sure. The Lord Department, he sated. See? Apparently, no, you're, no, apparently no, it's no. not working very well. I know. Please yeah, tell I me what, what are you referring to. <laughs> Under Lord Department. Lord Department, he sated. Yeah, is that a word? Okay. Spell check doesn't catch that? I don't care. It, it is a word. Sated? Okay. Rather, it means you're full location, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't say to me you're full, or that's satiated, satisfied. First one was green acres. I got that. Okay, and then second. Yeah. So I would call those typos, but we need to make those corrections. As amended. Anything else? No, sir. Uh, call the roll, please. Mr. Meacham. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. I will entertain a motion to approve payment of bills in the amount of $28,831.79 from the general fund, $3,291.10 from the fire, $20,656.06 You're distracting me, are you? Sorry. Cemeteries, $645.14. EMS billing, $900.84. Road and Bridge Fund, $3,338.65. Uh, do I hear a motion? So moved. Again. I'll second. Any discussion? For me. How'd you say it works? Uh, Twenty thousand dollars. So that is discussion. Twenty thousand dollars for fire it hurts. It hurts. Yeah. Uh, I assume that's an increase in. <laughs> Not really. Hey, <laughs> it just hurts. Uh, I do roll pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pretty much is right. <clears throat> Will we call the roll. Mm-hmm. Mr. Meacher. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. <clears throat> Not a lot of correspondence this month, uh, but we list them so that there is a continuing record. Uh, Ohio Township Association's uh, December 10th legislative alert. Got a copy of the Township Association Grassroots Clippings newsletter. Uh, notice from MDRPC regarding their dues and designation of a delegate. Uh, got a reminder regarding the ARP money that we will need to have a report in next April. Uh, regional planning. What is RPCC? Regional planning, planning coordinating coordinating commission. December 14 meeting announcement, which has passed. Uh, we brought this up at the last meeting, but this formal notice from the Ohio Power Siting Board uh, postponing uh, the 
pending Kingwood hearing until the week of March 7th. Star Ohio online portal is available. Is that new? Or is it? Has there always been I'm always, online? I'm always done, yeah. I've always looked at it online. I don't know. I think maybe it was down and then now it's back up again or something. And that's kind of investment mutual fund for public bodies. <coughs> Are there any oh, agenda yeah. items yeah. that folks would like to add? Mm -hmm. I would like to hear fire department report. Well, I would like to hear it to you. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, since the last meeting, we've had uh, 30 EMS incidents, two of which occurred in Bath, and 11 fire incidents, two of which occurred in Bath. Um, the two week period started really slow with EMS calls and it was ticked up to we've had four days in the last three days. Um, uh, but nothing of note to report. Um, a lot of illnesses, a lot of people getting sick. Anything that you would identify as COVID? We've had a couple of patients who were COVID positive. <clears throat> Not like that day when there were three or four in one day? No. We're seeing actually a lot of flu people to call us because they're sick and they're in the hospital for the flu, and then we're trying to talk them out of that plan because the hospitals frankly don't want to see them right now. <laughs> um, they don't see anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it ain't good. Um, you've got a resolution there, 2021-52, to reclassify volunteer Jake Rich to part-time status, and then he would take that's been a vacant position for a while um, on B shift that Casey Brewer had filled and left to go to greener pastures. <laughs> was more money, so I guess it is greener pastures. <laughs> um, so he'd be doing uh, a 24 hour shift every six days. And that will seriously cut back on the amount of overtime because we have to fill that with overtime all the time. So Justin and Nick may not be happy, but. Mm -hmm. So if anything happens to Jake, we'll know that it's just the day, probably. Um, before we... All right, let's... I'll move for the resolution. I'll second. Did you hear the back-to-work date for our replacement? I know this is not exactly under here, but it kind of is. Uh, December 27th is when he has that final appointment. So, oh, I thought this, this uh, I thought, I was hoping it was too, but hmm. I, I don't know why. I think it's like January. <laughs> so, I've already skipped past Christmas. Would you repeat that? Our, our new the employee will start on the 27th? No, 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 no. The gentleman that we have made a tentative offer to, unfortunately broke his leg. No, Lord. Um, so he has a follow-up appointment. He's had surgery and they fixed it, which is good. So we, he has a follow-up appointment with his orthopedic surgeon on the 27th of this month, which he will hopefully learn about how long he has to be off, those kind of things. And he's supposed to call me and let me know if we're going to wait a little bit or if we're going to go to the next calendar. Because yeah, so. it ain't never, nothing's ever easy. Uh, so we, uh, we have a resolution that's been moved and seconded. Resolution 2021-52. Can we call the roll on that? Sorry. Um, um, yeah. Um, Mr. Major. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. And it is the second page of the fire report. Yes, and I gave Margaret a clean copy for your respective John Hancocks. Okay. Um, <clears throat> thank you very much. Uh, we have three new firefighters, yay. Uh, so Peyton Cooper, Jake Rich, and Gavin Van Meter have all received their level one firefighter certification from the state. After completing the class at Clark State, um, luckily for us, the class was a excuse me, BWC grant funded course. So we 
you know, tuition class, the cost certainly went up for the class, which was very nice. It was good. Yeah, that's very nice. It will come up very often, uh, but we're reluctant to this one. So, so yay. Central Medicaid is your time. Yay, then. Um, and Medicaid also, big good news, uh, Georgia Goad, after a year and a half of work, has passed her paramedic class and is now certified with the state. So she will need to complete her regional standing orders testing, and then she's good to go. Justin Turner should be testing sometime soon as well. He completed a class as well. They scheduled their own mm -hmm. test now, so. Which is very nice. Uh, we had our annual holiday party and award ceremony last night. Oh, yeah. At the Barrel Room on Zinni Avenue, and I think it will go down as possibly the most inexpensive one ever. Uh, it was under $1,000 total cost, so. Uh, but, I recall, uh, many moons ago, taking a almost wet check that was almost instantly have been produced to the Glen whatever place wow. that you had a party. That was early in your... Uh, I wasn't invited to. It was very well, early in your That's why you're in that It was less than a thousand. It was less than a thousand. It four hundred dollars. Ah. Yes. That's right. Denise Deaton was here. This is that Medicaid yeah. A friend who catered the event at your dinner this month. Well. <laughs> okay. Turkey roll-ups for dinner. Good, good, old, good old days. Box one. Well, I'm sorry I missed it. I forgot all about it. We all spoke ill of you. Well, <laughs> well okay. That's the way it goes. Especially Richard. Okay. You know how he gets. Um, but yeah, actually it was, I thought it was nice. Nice and relaxed atmosphere. Three hundred dollars to rent the space, and then uh, five something for the camera. So and they had a volume control for the music, which seems we never have. But yeah, true. <laughs> that was very nice. That worked out well. The award recipients are listed there, so all those guys did a nice job. Um, MC did a nice job. Thank you. Uh, last but not least, then um, I didn't put this on there because I just thought about it as I sat down. So we, are, we, the fire department, are the sponsor of the New Year's Eve ball drop activity, but Oswey and I spoke today, and we're going to get back together on Monday. The, the horrific increase of cases in, in the state and county, mm -hmm. uh, and the situation of the hospitals currently. Get back together on Monday and determine whether or not it's safe to host it. Mm -hmm. well, I believe you can do it safely. It is outside, but we're not going to enforce that kind of social distancing, obviously. Please try to do So we'll see. Um, you know, we, I mean, both of us would hate to have anyone get sick because we have the so. We shall see. I just thought I would share with you also. <laughs> really great um, and seriously, by then, the doubling and doubling could have gotten to a point. Right, I mean, we're at a point already regionally that our hospitals are all full. Um, they're also experiencing staffing shortages, obviously, and supply shortages. 11 of our seven adult, 11 of the 17 adult acute care hospitals are boarding patients in the ERs because they don't have rooms upstairs. So some patients are waiting two days to go upstairs. Um, and they're starting to go on what we haven't had in years, which is diversion. So it's not, it's actually worse now than it was during the previous period. So we're hopeful that, well, I don't know, because uh, the solution is that everyone goes out and gets vaccinated. But I think if you haven't done it by now, you ain't going to do it, no matter how much Dr. Fauci asks you to. <laughs> so, so we shall see. Um, I, I have not seen this as a news story that you say 11 of the well, the 17 in the 17 area hospitals are now turning away. Well, they're boarding patients. They, have, okay. they, boarding. they can't put them up on the floors because they have no rooms. So. They end up hanging out. Like if you, yeah, I word right headed. But if you go, let's say, in the Soin CR right now, they have beds all down the hallways mm -hmm. uh, because they just, they, they, you know, they're at the end. So mm -hmm. luckily, that's not supposed to be broken. Green Memorial is in a similar state. Or the Casey Valley is very similar as well. So, so 
so it's not good. Um, don't get hurt. hurt. Don't, don't, yeah, yeah, don't get hurt. Yeah, I mean, the hospital will still obviously take your care of you to the extent that they can, but, um, but if you got the sniffles, this is not the time to go to the emergency room. On a different topic, uh, how much in the past have we done training for other departments? I mean, this is called the training room. Uh, in the past, we've done a significant amount uh, between EMS training and fire training. Um, and we hope to return to that as as things normalize some and that, <laughs> so it's COVID dependent. It's not yeah. something we can't do Zoom training. It's volunteer dependent. Well there's that too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we I mean we used to train a lot of other firefighters for other And we made money that way. Mm -hmm. We did for a point and then when the state changed some of the systems and everything started with the community colleges, we were just a a venue, I guess, for Clark State. Um, but you could get, we could get our own students in for cheaper because we were hosting the class. And it was good experience for our instructors to teach. Myself, is, is that an area that at some point we could make money at? Or because of the change and the community colleges are doing more of it? We it would be difficult at this point. Um, because yeah. of COVID or if COVID was gone? Was no, just because if, let's say if COVID disappeared miraculously tomorrow, um, possibly could with fire, we don't actually know, we, could. we don't have the facilities that you need to have a fire charter mm -hmm. to run our own class and then make our own money. Uh, you need a burn building and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and on the EMS side, I mean, you frankly can't swing a dead cat in this area without hitting the EMT training program. Mm -hmm. um, Cedarville University has one, Clark State, St. Clair, uh, Premier Health runs one. Um, so it's, it works better for us to, you know, one of our fire instructors teaches through Clark State, so he gets experience that way. Okay, I just. Yeah, unfortunately the, in the last several years has been a shift from JBSs, which were more liberal in terms of us making money through them, to the community colleges and other things too. And the money, and like, we used to do our own EMT class, but under the new accreditation rules, the money that's required for us to maintain that in terms of equipment, insurance, all those kind of things, uh, just became unsustainable for the number of students we were training. So, unfortunately. Thanks. Not a good one, thanks. That's really that good. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Or fire and rescue? <laughs> Not I. So I got oh. I appreciate the two days that the lights were turned off in the bay, but not so much the three days following the two days that the lights have been on. Oh, um, ah, all night? I don't know, but when I drove by, it was the nighttime. I'll we'll reiterate to the staff to okay. make sure those are on. And I can't vouch for the far bay because apparently that light turns itself on at 1 o'clock in the morning mysteriously. Well, which may be the ghost. And I contacted Johnny Burns to straighten out the uh, billing issue with the deduct meter, but he's been surprisingly quiet tonight. So so it's not just me. <laughs> no, apparently it's not just you. So we'll we'll keep working on that. Why am I working on that? But anyway, okay. Because remember, you said, I would like another pro project that won't drive me crazy. <laughs> That's right, I said that. Didn't <laughs> and we said, hey, how about the Johnny Boys project? <laughs> That's all I have, Mr. Chair. Person. Sure. Well, <laughs> cemetery report? Good evening. Uh, since the last meeting, we had one burial. And there's a party. Karen McKee. Karen McKee. Well, it's kind of, kind of wet and moist, but not too messy. And we got uh, your signs up for you doing your section signs. Yep. You should take a look. I want to see what you think. Okay. If they need to be changed a little bit, I can put a chance to change them. 
turf or whatever. Place where you want them. Uh, cement's not going to set up for 20 more hours? No, it's just going to be And then set up like a mix of It's still softer. What'd you take? The postal digger. Okay. That's what you told me to do. No, I did not. I told you to buy an auger if you can't get that thing. Oh, that's right. Uh, the, the, the auger, that's what I use. Okay, I thought you said post hole digger. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I did it the hole. You know, I use the auger. You got, it, you got it going? Yeah. Okay. How do you think they look? I think they look good. Yeah. So if you want, we're going to need an extra G, I think. Yeah, well. When we go to order some more. When we decide that we like those, you know, whatever, then we'll find out if we can do ANX north and south, right. east and west, and R's and O's. And then all the old people have no idea what we're doing. Old people, or old person, old place, old. What, was it called? what are you old talking about? Old portion are old people. You're, <laughs> you guys are talking a different language. Old part of the it's how it listed is old part. Okay, old part. Yeah. That's what that's its official name. Old part. Mm -hmm. And you got your uh, strong skis and everything. Right? Strong teeth. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you see how that like goes. Might need to do the you know some more in the spring. Depending if we need road work done. Mm -hmm. For now. We're, We're talking call about around the call call area, area. Yeah. and the little shed. And when do we anticipate the uh, uh, six months or it, it, it could be if they don't get the material until after the first of the year. I thought, take them, worry. I thought it was like after the first of the year. Well, yeah. well, it's yeah, it's going to take them a little while to make the things. And that's all I have for today. Anything else? I have one thing. Would you do the honors, please, of explaining the difference between interment and internment for all of us to, to understand? Uh, internment would be like an internment, the Japanese internment camps during uh, World War II. The, so, uh, in, inter would be burying. Ah, yes, I understand that. Uh, so, so it, it in yes. turn, we, we found some forms that said internment when we meant interment. So we were restricting or sentencing someone to burial rather than digging down for burial. Well, we were going to hold them. Yeah, for a certain period of time, apparently, instead of uh, put them under the ground. But we used to we used to issue deeds to uh, people who purchased grave sites, and it was called deed. But the state of Ohio um, asked that we not say deed, say certificate of interment. Oh, so it's interment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so it, I it. I've signed all year. I've signed internment certificates signed and for when I was making this arrangement out of township in another cemetery and I used the phrase internment, someone corrected me. Good. All right, so I have corrected the certificates of internment to, to be co correct and uh, uh, we'll, next time I go to Office Depot we'll get some decent quality paper still, mm -hmm. you know, to put them on, so. But no one has said anything for the whole year, or before that. Or before yeah. that, I mean, how long has it been? It'd be nice, three or four okay. years, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, progress in Miami Township, that's what I like. So this is our written design, that's right? Yeah, sure. But no end. No end. Okay. Hmm. That's all I have for okay. the Well then, road report. Well, let's see. Filled potholes last week, so we're good for now. So we're going to show it. And I did haul some salt in it, just because we had some over there. I thought it was a good time to stock up a little bit. And you say you had some over there. Yeah, you mean at Bath Township? Mm -hmm. Brought it. We thought good day to get some rain, good day to get some salt in. We're stuck there. Probably going to need more. Maybe.
Not through this week. Yep, not through this week, you're right. Spring weather. Um, there's not much going on. Um, we have a breakfast to go to on Thursday. That is good. Some projects. We use the And you're not paying for it this year? No, they are. I paid for it a couple of years. So is this made by the lunch? Is and this we, for all that was lunches? No. <coughs> lunches, right? It's a yeah, all the township they help out. They started their own fees. So this is kind of celebrating collaboration. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Just a waste of time. Good camaraderie. Well, that's one of the one of the things that impresses me is the. Trading back and forth between townships. It helps. It helps us out. We help them out as much as we can. We don't have the manpower that some of them do, but it works out. It works out somehow. And then we'll be off Friday at work. Mm -hmm. okay. We'll be any barrier. They bear all day Friday. Probably next Friday. Next Friday, too. Well, so we want to solve that. Shocking. <laughs> it is. Unless it snows. Unless it snows. Then you're the only job. Anything for me? Are you done repainting the little Houston Road sign yet? No. Where are you to it? Not everybody has. Google Maps and Siri. The road sign you do? Yeah, I told you about this meeting. Well, you told me the yellow sign. I've been looking for a yellow sign. I've been looking for a yellow sign. It's great. It's the road sign. It says Houston Road. It needs to be up. Will we just get the county to make it some more? Either that or dig around in the grass and see if it's down there, but I don't think it is. Okay. Okay. I'll take care of that. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> That's my whole notepad. Okay. Anything else for Rose? Not I. Fiscal officers report. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. We amended some permanent appropriations. Uh, could you speak up, please? Um, guess what? We amended some permanent appropriations. This is resolution 2021-53. Whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township, now therefore the trust is authorized amending the following appropriations. This first line is a mistake. But I had to do it. I, I can't not do it for the sake of the auditing. And it happens to be, I meant to um, increase contracted services to pay our attorney by $2,910, but I realized when I was, after I cut the check that I had actually <coughs> increased the auditing services, so. So okay. what's, how, what so, should it read? Well, it, it, it's, it has to be read like this because I did this in the system. And the okay. auditors, you know, when you, do, when, you in, when you mess with the appropriations, so it, saying, it has to be in a resolution. But it you're was saying really, because of the mistake you made in the digital system, this is in here? Right. Okay. But I didn't really need money in aud auditing services. I needed money in contracted services to pay the lawyer. Anyway, in the cemetery fund, I increased salaries by $151. And in the cemetery fund, I increased operating supplies by $387. In the fire levy fund, increased Social Security by $4.76. Oh. Travel and meeting expenses increased by $47. Telephone was increased by $121.63. Advertising was increased by $39. Electricity was increased by $315. Water and sewer increased by 226, and other salaries in the fire fund, which is basically Brandon doing some an oil change or something, whatever, increased by five dollars and a penny. What a big time operation! <laughs> well, you know, I gotta, I gotta have the money. Anyway, um, in EMS billing, I increased Social Security by two dollars and twenty-four cents. That shows the public how precise we are with our yearly planning for, for budgetary purposes. Yeah, I mean, I'm the not year year year. This is the last payments for the year, and yep. that's all I needed, so that's why I'm going to buck here, the buck there. That's right. Can't do better than that. Uh, do I hear a motion? So moved. I'll second. 
discussion? I guess I just have. <clears throat> Call the roll, please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. So at our next meeting um, in January, that's when we'll adopt temporary appropriations and um, pay our bills and pay our people until we establish our permanent appropriations. I vote for that. No, not yet. And that's no. yeah. permanent appropriations are by the end of the first quarter? Correct. Um, that's all I have, I think. If somebody has a question or something. I have something. Yes, briefly, since it's the last meeting of the year. And these are numbers from our last meeting, but they're going to be close. I just want to report to the general good of the audience uh, that our revenue and expenditure numbers are in pretty good shape, I think, uh, what we just discussed. But uh, for the year, for example, uh, in the general fund, uh, we are we're ahead $17,397.63 from our budget. That's property tax. Uh, I know what they didn't know. Oh, okay. That's property tax. Never mind. Increasing property tax? That is increasing We received 17000 more than what we the, the county auditor originally told us to expect. So whenever we have an overage of revenue, we, I have to report that to them. Uh, we uh, received nine thousand eight hundred seventy-six dollars and ninety-eight cents additional local government distribution. Would, would you like to explain that one? I, I, it applies. The, the, my explanation applies to that as well. It's not property tax. But it's, it's still it's it's sales tax. Local government. Yeah, local government. It's, it's our portion of the state oh, sales I tax. Know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and our motor vehicle license tax increased uh, by uh, seven hundred ninety-one dollars and nine cents. That's from motor vehicle license tax that we receive uh -huh. within the township. Our gasoline tax revenue increased uh, by $25,714.04. That is generated from the tax on uh, every gallon of gasoline that has been expended. And that includes and the, 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 new tax the new tax started the year before. Mm -hmm. So this is on top of that. Every gallon of gasoline in Green County? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm Mr. Uh, engineer. Yeah, divide it up. Yeah. Uh, Rotten Bridge account increased by $7,019.50. That's general property tax. Uh, that was the only increase, increase there. Our cemetery fund increased by $28,126.48. Most probably from the sale of graves uh, over and above what was budgeted last year. Could be sale and opening and closing. It's usually one or both. Our fire department budget increased by $97,213.50. And that's 50 cents. Revenue over budget. That is revenue over budget. Real estate, property tax. That was the sale of grains we were going to. Yes. <laughs> this is all think, more than you thought you'd take in. Mm -hmm. Right, I guess it's, it's no, those numbers. Just, what we think we this take is, in is. He's talking revenue, not actual balance after we, we also had increased. That is the, the county spending. auditor says Go they kind of give us those numbers. They guess. Mm -hmm. Permissive motor vehicle license tax uh, increased by $4,840.31. And the fire rescue ambulance EMS fund increased by fourteen thousand two hundred eighty-seven dollars and twenty-eight cents. So all in all, I call that a pretty good year in the old Miami Township finances, and that takes us into next year in uh, in give or take one fund in pretty good shape. We came very close in all of our funds on our expenditures to uh, uh, estimated, and especially the fire fund is, is is closing out the year somewhere in the seventy plus thousand dollar range, and that still has to out of these numbers that has to pay for December 
all of December, both uh, both times in December. So that's going to be mighty close. But we do have a uh, current cash carryover of three hundred fifty-eight thousand five hundred fifty-seven dollars and ninety cents in the fire fund, which will put us in good stead to make it through till April um, distribution of property taxes without having to either contribute substantially from the general fund or request an advance on our uh, on our tax revenue from the from the county auditor. Both of, both of which things I was hoping to avoid. Because we have all of next year to find money <laughs> to pay our, our uh, obligations in the fire department. And that's all I had for that fiscal offset portion. Anything else on fiscal officer report? Standing committee reports. Um, MBRPC did not meet. Uh, Green County Regional Planning did meet. Had an interesting discussion with the uh, over representative Greg Smith about all the activity going on around Birch Three or Four or whatever it's called. What is it called? The new one? The new one. They call it a lot of things. Well, this is the over mm -hmm. development. Mm -hmm. what, what was said? <laughs> um, uh, he was um, a, a little misunderstood of why there seems to be uh, a lot of pushback to what he felt was a fairly generous offer by the over mm -hmm. company for the the plan unit development for the for the plan unit development and the um, the uh, recreational area equipment and the uh, low income housing 1.88 acres I think that's what that was he says you know, that's how that's how government works so they'll do it you know one way or the other they're going to do something but if, if it doesn't work out that way they'll just let us put them up straight, bam, 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 right up down the road. And RPCC's role is simply to uh, make an advisory comment about any development. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to make sure, make sure two things: one, that it's that it's designed correctly and that it complies with all. Uh, state local regulations, including township regulations, and that includes zoning mm -hmm. uh, and zoning and or comprehensive land use plan. If they have the ability to to see a, um, a township or uh, a village's comprehensive land use plan compared to the development that's presented before them, and then make a recommendation whether they think think that it falls under the general. Yes, this is a good a, a good plan. So RPCC had a resolution that is then sent to the village. Um, or not a resolution. Well, there's 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 no resolution. <coughs> I'm sorry. We this was just an off the cuff conversation. This was okay. not an official conversation because the PUD has not passed the village yet. So okay. it hasn't I'm gone sorry. to RPCC for comment. So it's a discussion in advance. In advance yeah. yeah. Status. Right. And Ober was there. Yes, I'm impressed. Well, they were there for another subdivision review, also of a portion of uh, of a, a subdivision they're putting together in Beaver Creek Township, mm -hmm. and this was Section Seven of one of them. And so that's why he was there. And what I heard you say was, if they don't agree to that, all the concessions and the, the current design, it'll just go straight racing to. Mm -hmm. And that may not be in the Yeah. That's the only other option. Yeah. And finally, uh, Grinnell Mill, the discussions are still ongoing about who's going to take over the general uh, general oversight of the mill from Jim Hammond. Mm -hmm. uh, comes down to, uh, at this point, uh, McGlynn. The manager, the present manager of the mill, 
or other than breakfast, not the mill, but to take over management of the mill and the private citizen who's expressed interest in doing it. So we shall see. Um, the or The Transportation Advisory Committee did, did not meet, at least to my knowledge. Uh, the Union Cemetery Board did not meet. Uh, Yellow Springs Community Development Corporation uh, met. Um, nothing dramatic. We will have a meeting in January, but choose new officers in February. Uh, and it appears to me that the current leadership is asking others to step forward. Mm -hmm. uh, so in our January meeting, our meeting, that is the trustees meeting, we will review who we are appointing as representatives to each of these bodies. Uh, and sometimes we've had other representatives, like senior citizens, and what were some of the ones that Mark did over the years? Oh, actually, the solid waste should be on here, and I will say that uh, the Green County Solid Waste Policy Committee, um, our <coughs> spent like a year reviewing our three-year plan, and the state EPA has approved that. Uh, nothing dramatic, except an increase in public education. We've hired an uh, education staff that works with schools, which uh, is just beginning. It's kind of exciting. And for the audience at large here and there, uh, it's also, these are not, as you kind of alluded to, these are not set in stone uh, commissions uh, and or appointments. They can change, and they can also change. Uh, trustees normally will decide uh, either which of these committees they're interested, committees or commissions they're interested in serving on, uh, or at some point they're empowered to go out and find a new direction that they would like to take and bring that before the board and say, you know, may I be the, I mean, you got to vote for me, may I, I'd like to be the representative on such and such commission. It, it, it could be anything far and wide. It could be a village, it could be a state, it could be a township, it could be ugh, hopefully not another township, just, because, you know, time and time is money. But, um, but so that is available also as an option to, to standing committee uh, assignments. Uh, at our last meeting, I asked about shifting the date of our uh, organization meeting in January, and I would like to confirm that. Shall we meet on, I believe it's Wednesday the 5th? That's what it says on the agenda. We, our next meeting will be the January 5th. <laughs> Well, I just want to confirm that. Yeah. I, I concur with the agenda. Okay. I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> yes, you weren't here, so that's right. you might have shown up. He would have already be sworn in and nobody would be there. Oh, that would be so sad. <laughs> I, I do have my badge going. I actually showed up last Monday in December. And nobody was here. Yes, yeah. I, <laughs> I do have a question, and Carol's not here, but it, I thought it was reported in the Yellow Springs News that the, you know, the, the Yellow Springs Development Corporation 
had a bank balance of four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. That was a extreme error. Okay, oh. just wanted to make sure that that it wasn't on our that the error wasn't on our part, and there's a no the, a zero on that line. Uh, that is that figure does not take into consideration that they then paid us. Uh, okay. Just, uh, as long as they don't let it happen. Four hundred and some thousand. Three hundred and ninety-three. Okay. Uh, I'm not aware of old business or new business. Uh, I'm not either, and consequently we've moved for adjournment. Not quite a record, but close. Uh, I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you for your Happy New Year. Thank you. Merry for Christmas. Christmas. Thank you for Happy your holidays. Illustrious yeah. service as chairperson. Happy That's right, I'm no longer chair. For 25. Well, well yeah. technically you, you will be for about five minutes or two minutes or something. In the next meeting.